Hi guys, welcome to TopLittleDriver.com. This is a quick video is going to talk about what you need to do in order to get more rides, more money in your account. We're going to talk about subcontractors, self-employed, as opposed to a W-2 employee. If you're a W-2 and you work for a limo company, this is not for you. If you're an independent driver, you work for yourself, you're subcontracted by your bigger company, this is for you. So, self-employed subcontractors is the same thing. You are a self-employed driver, you have your own car or you rent a car, and you need to get more rides. The thing you need to know is that you are self-employed, meaning you're not an employee. So you cannot just sit back and wait for your company to give you work or the company you are affiliated in to give you work. Company, as we can go, how to get more rides. Number one, hotels. You gotta work a hotel, get a referral from a hotel. Number two, referrals. Referral meaning drivers. Other drivers that you know walk around or drive around, stop by if you're at the, at the airport picking somebody up and you see other drivers there, give them your business card, tell them you need to, uh, you can cover work. Private clients, marketing, um, we'll go into this a little bit later in the marketing video, how to get more private clients. And number four is the last part that you should bank on is company. The company work, meaning you get jobs from a dispatch system, like an iPhone or a radio or a Blackberry. These are company jobs. This should not be your main source of income. You should have all these creating money for you. So company, how do you get more jobs from a company, from a dispatch system? Driver ratings, usually you have some type of rating system. Either you're a good driver or you're a bad driver. If you're a bad driver, you're gonna get lower company calls. If you're a good driver, you're gonna get better ratings, more clients, more calls. Your driver number, make sure if you have a passenger from a company, make sure uh, that they have your driver number. If you'd like to call dispatch and ask for you by your driver number, they'll, the dispatch will call you again and say if you wanna do this job again for this customer. That's a good way to build up uh, some type of clientele with the company that you have you affiliated with and this way you can make more money by the company hotels go back to hotels number one hotels a good avenue especially in new york city there's a lot of hotels a lot of doormans um, each time you're picking up somebody at a hotel stop by talk to the doorman before your actual pickup time if your pickup time let's say it's at one o'clock you're supposed to be there early anyway. Use that early time to network with your doorman. Maybe they already have a referral source, maybe they don't, but still give them your business card, give them your number. So if anything comes up, they'll call you, text you, and you can get a fare that way. Referrals, referrals from your drivers. Once again, anywhere you are at, uh, at the airports, hotels, Anywhere there's other drivers around you, you may not know any other driver, but anywhere where you are doing a pickup, there's usually more drivers around there. Strike up a conversation with the driver next to you, you never know where he might have or she might have jobs from. And if you're dressed professionally, your car is extremely clean, and you're gonna pay them something for a referral fee and you're okay with that, then this is another good option to get business from. If you get referrals from 20 drivers in a week, you get at least one ride from each, that's 20 new rides you got. And you gotta make sure that you're treating that customer that they're referring you to just as good as if it was your customer so they can keep referring you back to the cover jobs. So this is another good source, it's very overlooked. Network with a lot of drivers. Make sure you give them a lot of your business cards. Um, you have to look professional. You have to have your car clean. You have to have uh, something they want their customers to be dealing with. So, very good marketing source from other drivers. The private clients, private clients are a little bit harder to come by. 
Um, but you need to also work this avenue if you want to be a top limo driver. You have, uh, this would be the most revenue, but it's a little bit harder to get. And then the company work, again, we went over that a little bit already. Just make sure you are always on time for your company work and never have any problems with the customers. The dispatcher will know you as a good driver and when something comes up, you want to be the first driver the dispatcher calls your number, your driver phone number to you. So when the dispatcher is your next customer, always remember that. So if you're working for a company and you have a dispatcher, always treat him right. Always make sure that he's he knows who you are, what car you have, and the hours you work, and then you're always available to take on new work. Um, the, the dispatcher's job is to dispatch the job. So if he gives you a job and you're doing the right thing and the customer's not calling you to find you, to, to see where you are, they can't find you, or you're lost, then the dispatcher's not gonna call you again. But if the dispatcher gives you a job and the customer knows where you are and they're always happy with you, your car is always clean, smells good, then the, the dispatcher's gonna love you and you're gonna get tons of work from the dispatcher. Follow up with the next marketing video we're gonna do. Um, see how you can make more money, top of the driver.com. Thanks guys, have a good one.